Hey folks, welcome back at the Institute for Technical Informatics. It's again Georg from Industrial Informatics Group. And we have again a nice video which we are sharing some knowledge with you. In this video, I want to talk about our lecture block Fehler Tolerante Rechnersysteme or Fault Tolerant Computing System. I want to describe the course with these major three questions. Why, how, and what? Why do we do this stuff? Why do we focus on the automotive domain? How does this course work? And how do I benefit as a student? And what? What are the learning goals? What are the expectations to be raised on this course? What are the expectations from this course? Let's come to the first why. Why the automotive domain? Simple answer, because your lecture team, we, we know the automotive domain. But not only the lecture team, we, the general public, we know the automotive domain. There was a questionnaire undertaken in the US state of New York by the University of Buffalo. They asked random people on the street about the fuel consumption of the car. And 90% knew how much fuel their vehicle is consuming. Then they asked the same people about the blood type. And only 58% of these people know their own blood type. They continue to ask and say, like, what's your cholesterol level? And only 43% of the people know their own cholesterol level. So we, as human beings, know more about our vehicle than we know about ourselves, if we put it that depictive way. On the other hand, world champion Formula One, Kimi Raikkonen, I don't know, I only drive my car. So even if you are not the expert of aerodynamics or combustion engines, because I think he was asked a, a very specific technical question. Even if you're not the expert, you can still relate to the automotive domain. You still have implicit knowledge of the domain. And the next nice point with this domain is, it's a highly emotionalized domain. Whether you are a car enthusiast or you just like cars or you don't like cars, there are also these people who don't like cars, you know about the automotive domain. And this implicit knowledge is a perfect basis for the discussion of our fault tolerant computing system course. And the next thing is, even if you don't want to be in the automotive domain, the learnings, the basics that we are teaching in this course, you can transfer them to other domains. There. Basic concepts will be the same in nuclear power plant, in medical device, in machinery, or different other domains. Coming to the how, how does this course work? How do you benefit? How is the course embedded? The course is one of four groups of courses that we give in our research group. The first one is related to design patterns, software engineering and software development design patterns. And as you can see, it consists of a lecture and a practical part. The second course is related to industrial software development and quality management. And again, it consists of a lecture and a practical part. It focuses on quality, quality assurance processes, quality evaluation, and it focuses again on the automotive domain for the same reasons. It's an emotional domain. It is a domain everyone knows and we can transfer the learnings to any other domain. The course we are currently talking about, the fault tolerant computing course, consisting of a lecture and a practical part. And the reasoning behind this is on the lecture part, you learn, you hear, you get new information. And with the practical part, you apply these. Therefore, it makes it easier to have a sustainable training, a sustainable knowledge generation. And then we have our fourth block, which is selected topics on embedded and automotive systems. That does not consist of a lecture and a practical because it's an inverse classroom. It's a seminar. In this seminar, we are focusing on dependability aspects in the automotive domain, but also in other industrial domains, in industrial for zero approaches. We are focusing on cyber physical systems and system of systems approaches as a service approaches and the most recent topics that we have in our research development and innovation projects. 
And therefore, this is a flipped classroom. We will interact there with you a lot. And this seminar is changing all the time, is elaborating all years. How does this course work? We block two full weeks of your time because we want you to have specific focus on this course, to be dedicated on this, and to have the time for synchronous and also asynchronous training. It will be only these two weeks and you will not have additional time requirements. We will do in these two weeks on a daily basis. We will have some revisions of the last lectures, of the pre-knowledge that you have, do some quizzes and questionnaires to recap what we have learned already, introduce new topics in a lecture style, also possibly in an asynchronous lecture style, give you breaks to digest, to recap and rethink the new learnings, the new skills, and then do group works, do the hands-on, do the workshop, and come back together and present your findings, reflect on your discussions that you had in the group, and in the plenary, share the learnings between the different groups. Additionally, we will also have some asynchronous or video lectures that we will implement, also make use, if appropriate, of other learning platforms, and whenever possible to invite some external experts, we will invite them to give also talks, wrapping up and summary at the end of each module to recap what we have learned and to strengthen and make it sustainable, the learning that we have gained. To do this, we will provoke you and we will ask you for your actions. We want you to be there with body and mind and fully focused. This is why we block the whole weeks. We like to have thoughtful considerations and discussions. It's not always the case that you will agree with some things. This is perfectly fine. We can discuss different viewpoints and we highly encourage you to also be there with thoughtful considerations, thoughtful discussions. And we expect you to be fully motivated and dedicated. We expect this because we love to work with motivated and dedicated people, but also you get the most out of it. When everyone in your group is motivated and dedicated, you will have the most experience of the group work, you will learn the most and it will be easiest. The organization of this course will be two times five days blocks separated in more or less morning and afternoon sessions where we give you the new information, the new knowledge in the morning session and where you have most likely in the afternoon session, the application of this knowledge in the group works and in the tasks that we give you. We will use the Theograd's Teach Center as well as other training platforms whenever they are appropriate and whenever they are useful for our course. The blocked time includes the lecture time also the asynchronous lectures that we have, plus also all the group work time. So it's not needed to have additional time reserved. We will have synchronous meetings and group works. We will have communications via emails, via messaging servers, but also via our face-to-face -face interactions. And therefore we highly recommend you take the lecture and the practical part in combination will also be taking place in this block. It will not be additional time where we split you up into four or five groups, depending on the size of our cohort and where you do group working on realistic cases from the industry. You will be doing two assignments in this group works. One, an incremental assignment that you take throughout the course and apply the new knowledge that you gain. And the advanced topic, the second assignment that you will do after we finished all the knowledge transfer. Then you will apply for an advanced topic, the gained knowledge, and this will be sustainable training. How you benefit from this is that you gain a higher learning level. The first learning level is just imitation. You just reproduce what we tell you. Learning by heart. This is not what we intend. We want to bring you to higher learning levels. We want you to apply what you have learned. 
to reorganize, to explain and describe and understand what we have talked about. And we want you to bring you to transfer, to interpret the learning and transfer the learning to a new problem. Apply the solutions that you learned in a similar area and come also to problem solving to develop your own solutions. How you would additionally benefit is the career path of our team, the i3 team. First, you start with lectures. You see how we work. You see what we want from your side. You see if you would be fitting to our team. And then you might go for a bachelor thesis or seminar projects that you want to do with us together. You might want to join our research team as a project assistant, supporting us in our R&D projects. You want to go for a master thesis where you have a specific task that is solely done by you, where you will be elaborating the engineering and the scientific part and where you, in the end, gain your master's degree. Or you will also follow up the path towards a PhD candidate or towards a postdoc in our research team. So what are we going to do in this course? What are the topics of the course? First, the automotive domain. We're talking about the automotive domain. You will gain some insights in this domain. We will be talking about embedded systems because this is most likely the focus of your thesis. And we will talk about functional safety. That's the topic of the course, functional safety. And we will also share some extracurricular learnings or school of life or the lessons learned that we have from our projects, from our consultants, from our interaction with the industry. The learning goals for this course are that you learn functional safety in the automotive context, what it means, what is functional safety, the basic concepts of functional safety in the context of automotive domain, and these basic concepts you can transfer into several other domains. But we will also be focusing on the domain standard and the management companies, what they do to manage these functional safety approaches, what they have to provide in terms of legal aspects. But our main focus will be related to the engineering aspects. As a nice add-on, you will have the opportunity to get a functional safety certificate. This is an optional part to get an industry relevant certificate for functional safety engineering. We will have a special student price and a special support from the certification organization. And for the interested people will come to these points during our lecture. What is functional safety in the scope of ISO 262662, in the scope of automotive domain? It's dealing with the absence of unreasonable risks which are introduced due to mole functions of electric or electronic systems. Unreasonable risks that are introduced due to our embedded systems. Mole function behavior might be caused by a systematic failure, which means we did something wrong during the development, systematic problems, or random failures which means that hardware is getting old, is getting worn, and therefore has some issues. And we will be discussing these topics in the context of the Road Vehicles Functional Safety Norm, ISO 262662, which came out first edition in 2011. And we are also having now the more recent version of 2018, a very recent version of this. This is also the reason why we are focusing on the automotive domain. And that is it for the first introduction to fault tolerant computing systems. And I hope to see you soon in the lecture or check out our other videos that we have on this platform.